This is question number two. It says, given that f of x is equal to the natural log of x, where x is greater than zero, sketch on separate axis the graphs of one, y is equal to f of x, two, y is equal to the modulus of the f of x, three, y is equal to minus f of x minus four. We're asked to show on each diagram the point where the graph meets or crosses the x-axis. In each case, we're asked to state the equation of the asymptote. The question carries seven marks. So let's start now with the f of x. So this now is the standard y is equal to the natural log of x. So let's go ahead and do that. We will come now through just here up to the point of 1, 0, and then we'll turn around and it will look something like this. So we go off in that direction there. That's going to be 1, 0. I'm going to put the asymptote on and the asymptote is going to be the y-axis, which is just there, or we could say now the line x is equal to zero. So all I'm going to do is put that this now is x is equal to zero as the asymptote. So this is our first one drawn. We now need to do the modulus. The modulus now will only return positive values, so we're simply going to reflect the negative part in the x-axis. So if we do that one, if I place this just here, we're going to have a graph now, I'm just moving this across slightly, we're going to have a graph. This part will simply now be in the direction here. We need to make a sharp cusp as we come down and then it will bounce off like so and be exactly the same to now the right of this point right here. This is going to be 1, 0 and again our asymptote is going to be the y-axis or the line x is equal to zero. So just putting this on now, we've got x is equal to zero. So we've got now y is equal to the modulus of the f of x. We've got y is equal to the f of x. Let's now look at this one. Two different transformations. We have a translation of four units in the positive x direction and a reflection in the x-axis. The order of this doesn't matter as they're in different directions. So we can just go ahead now and do this. So what we're going to do then is move out. This point, 1, 0, will become 5, 0. So let's put this just here. So this is going to be 5, 0. Usually we would come up here. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to draw what it would look like. Then we're going to go ahead and reflect it. So if I just translated it now, what we'd end up with now is the curve looking something like this. We would come round and our asymptote would be just here at the line x is equal to 4. So let's do, go ahead and do that. We've simply translated the graph now. So this would be the asymptote x is equal to 4. So x is equal to 4. But what we have now is a reflection in the x-axis. So we're going to have now instead the curve coming round like so. We will come to this point, 5, 0, and then it will come round like this. So that now is y is equal to minus f of x minus 4. I wouldn't have the pink one on in the exam, but this is what we should have. The white one just here, we need to clearly state that this is 5, 0, x is equal to 4, and it's a reflection of the curve in the x-axis. It's simply being translated 4 to the right, and reflected as stated the order doesn't matter so there are our three graphs and seven marks in total if you're unsure with your cusp on the second one you might want to write a note to the examiner pointing that this is a sharp cusp rather than a curved part here but i think i've uh, shown that adequately for full marks